witnesses. Hmm? They're completely out of it. Sleeping like two babies, huh? 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 Okay, calm down, sis. Chance it. Wake up. Mm -mm. Well, everyone's here. Good morning. Keep your mornings to yourself. What the heck is going on here? Where? Mm -hmm. Ah, you're talking about in. You bet I am. So you really wanted to sleep together yesterday, so... In, it's morning. Wake up. Yeah. Ah, Chester, let go. Or let Chester go. Hey, you already stand what that thing is, don't you? Let him go. I told you to be careful with it, didn't I? Oh my god, can't you youngins keep it down a little? Riverio, stand. Goodness. I slept pretty well. We're all here, which means it's noon. Oh no, what? Whoops. <laughs> it's alright, Chester. I'll help you again, like I did yesterday. You enjoyed the job of a taster? Yes, very good at tasting. Leave it all to me. Okay. Why is he embracing her? Calm down, sis. I'm sorry, everyone. Seems like I overslept. I'll start the preparations right away. I don't mind. It's good to relax and forget time for a change. I'll help. Hmm? What is it? No way. Did I just hear that right? Please, rest your old bones in that seat over there, master. If you prance around the kitchen, we might mistake you for an ingredient. <laughs> They all, they are very loud. Yeah, but we got them to thank for waking us up. No help. Yeah, thanks. Wow. This is so wholesome. That's good. First time I'm eating anything like this. How would you make this? It has a light smell, and the meat's really tender. Why do I feel like this is a dream? <laughs> And this isn't actually happening. I mean, there's sparkles all over the food. If you're curious, I can tell you the recipe later. Ah, uh, uh, I think Sis would like to know. Yes, I really wanted to ask myself. Tell me everything in the last detail. Roger. Nom nom nom. Don't stop to yourself so crazy like that. You should learn some table manners. Yeah. Oh dear, it's not even listening to me. It's look after its master, no doubt. You mean you? I mean you. It just made it. The dolls till now were a lot cuter, if memory serves. Yes, they were just dolls, not interesting at all. I don't think being interesting is a particularly high priority in their case. Oh. But I'd prefer interesting too. Did you actually say this knowing what it's doing to you? I mean, an interesting doll has a lot more possibilities than a plain one. What do you mean, possibilities? It is useless to tell her anything. She is functionally unable to dream about the future. Who the heck do you think I am? Oh, so you have a dream then? You do? Greta! Well, what's with a sudden reaction, Colette? I mean, you never do I buy anything of the sort. What's your dream for the future? Do you want to be a beautiful bride too? <laughs> Can she even marry? I mean, she doesn't grow, right? Yeah, so mysterious. Neither Greta nor Agnes have changed. One bit since the time I've known them. But there's nothing bad about that, is there? Yeah, well, it's pretty benign as far as I'm concerned. It's not an illness or anything. I'm glad it's nothing dangerous. They are all so pure. Chester, I want seconds. Sure, sure. Which do you want? Soup? Everything. Um, Ignis, how does her di digestive system work exactly? There are some things in this world that are better left unknown. Good. so do you have someone you like? For example, that. How many times do I have to say that there's just a big misunderstanding on everyone's part? Who are you talking about? Ed. He's in love with Greta. We haven't even met this Ed guy. He said he fell in love with her eyes after they spent countless hours gazing at each other. Yeah, right. Gazing at each other. The guy complained about eye pain, so I was just doing a medical inspection. That's messed up. But... That still made him fall in love with you. Ed is nice and gentle, so I think he wouldn't be a, such a bad catch. Oh yeah? And how about you go and marry him instead? Right, Chester? What? No, no, I was talking about Greta. 
Uh, I see you two are enjoying the food. You weren't listening, were you? Hm, I hate you, Greta. Good grief. What's wrong, Ed? You're kind of frozen mid-bite over there. Nah, go. I thought they were having fun. Oh, and you aren't? I am. Right? Chester, can I warm the soup up a bit? Ah, sure. Everyone smiles when they are together with Chester. They're the color of their life grows more potent. But then, what will happen when Chester is gone? Ah, right. I got something interesting. What's with this bag? Here you go. Eek. Is that the hair of a person? Ah, I got surprised when I found it too. But it's nothing like that. It's made very well, but... Ah, it's a wig. Where'd you get something like this? I found it among my mother's old things. It's something you dress up with for special occasions, right? I guess you could say so. But this color... Yes, it's the exact same color as yours. How about trying to put it on? I think it would fit you. Well, that came out of nowhere. I kind of have the same opinion. I mean, Colette said you look a lot like her mother. Oh, well, I remember hearing that, but... I think you both are quite rude to Chester. It sounds like you think he looks like a woman. Thanks, Colette. Huh? Just look, you can put anything on and he'll still look like a proper... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Chester? What, what? You look that bad. I thought I looked like your mother. Wait, I'll be back in a minute. Huh? Why? Just give me a few minutes. Ah, I'll take this with me for now. Hold then. What's going on? Hmm? I should take that with her anyway. Aw, oh, I wanted to see him. Sorry for having you keep waiting. Please come inside. Eh? What's happening in here? <laughs> Good afternoon, Chester. Huh? Fiona. I'll be coming in for a spell. For a spell? You don't need to be shy, just join the table. You got plenty of food? And what brought you here anyway? Hee 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 hee. Hee 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 hee. For some reason, I've got a really bad feeling about this. Follow us. Why are we going outside? Don't be shy, just follow our lead. Fiona. Chester got taken away. Laura. Eh. How come you're a red like a tomato? Huh? You must be imagining things. <laughs> the one, two, three. They ain't coming back. I wonder if they went to do laundry at the river. I mean, they're gonna be sailing back soon enough. Hmm? What is that supposed to? Aren't you drinking a bit too much anyway, Greta? It's not something a kid should be worrying about. What's wrong with drinking my own stuff? Actually, I brought this, Master. Shut up. How many times do I gotta repeat? It's gonna be good weather tomorrow. I think we've lost her. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Can't take this anymore. It's all the fault of that wimpy. You better not think I ran away from him. I just didn't want to mess with the doll. If we were the, if we were only one-on-one. -on -one, he went far. I went to cabin for Greta, Greta wasn't he? No. Oh no. Good times are not gonna roll. Thank you for waiting, everyone. I've never seen her squirt such a broad smile before. Ha 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 ha. Oh my. Ha ha ha. I can't take this anymore. I, I think I'll be taking my leave here. You can keep it as a present for me, Chester. Anyway, I shall be on my. <laughs> I've never seen Leona laugh like that before. I don't understand why she's laughing so much. There's nothing funny about this. About what? What's going on with you anyway? You won't believe it. What is the new one about? Are you a sheep? <laughs> she's so gone. I sincerely hope you made a cow here. Have this water, Greta. I don't need nothing from you. Ahem. Chester, please come in. Please let me see him. Please. <laughs> Chester, 
here. Looks like a woman. I've been I've been violated. I can no longer marry. <laughs> hmm? What was that, Ignis? He's shaking. You don't need to hold it in. Just go ahead and laugh. I would have never imagined he would look as beautiful as this, no matter how you look at it. He looks like a young woman. I wish I had hair like that. Colette, you remember what you said just a few moments before? Eh? Did I say anything? Lara, water is spilling from your mouth. <laughs> I imagine your mother must have been incredibly beautiful. Huh? I can't take my eyes off you. Hey, don't you think it's unfair that I'm the only one being treated like a toy here? Isn't that right, Loro? Ignis? <laughs> Let me go. I won't. I won't look as good as you with, with this crap. Oh my! Thank you for your kind words. I might be beautiful, as you see. I'm fairly masculine. Muscular for a maiden. Check there. Ignis is having a fit again. Make sure he doesn't run away. Okay. Greta, what's wrong? This isn't fair. <laughs> eh? Chester, no matter how dazzling you are, you'll never win against a wo real woman, you hear? G Greta? And I know certainly the real thing. Ha! Ah, were you drinking, Greta? My, I hope not all those glasses are yours. Oh, jeez. Hey, you would be a little crud, you hear? Colette, what are you doing here? Are you... Having a party here? When did you come here for? To get your petty revenge? Yeah, that's right. I want to have a fight one-on-one. -on -one. You hear me? Come out. I'm waiting for you. So then you're just going to see this beautiful maiden. Welcome. Eh? Ah? Uh, what a beauty. <laughs> Colette, who's this person? Chester, what should I do? Ignis seems to be about to die. <laughs> Let him take some. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> huh? Chester, th this is him? Ty, you ain't saying he's more feminine than me, are ya? Greta, what do you want? Get off me. I've got a whole bunch of things I'd like to tell ya. Ouch, look at my hair. <laughs> Get out. No one called you here. <laughs> Would you like some snot, Ignis? <laughs> Whoa, where'd the doll come from? I was here from the very beginning. I'm not giving Chester to a man like that. Gotta, what are you even talking about now? I should use this chance to escape. Bad. I really wish I could have gazed at you for a while longer. Oh, please. My head hurts. <laughs> you drank too much, Greta. I guess all that laughing took a toll on Ignis, huh? I don't laugh. And I'm the king of Lysnia. You are really striking, Chester. Well, at least it was funny. Helping. I've not got a single ally in this group. Hmm? Finn? It is. Your ally, Chester. Really? Yes. I'm so happy to hear that. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Huh? What are you doing, Chester? Doesn't she just make you want to hold her in your arms? Your hair is soft like a puppy's, too. It's just irresistible. I can see jealousy on your face, sis. <laughs> Now you're just scaring everyone. Your cheeks are so soft too. You can touch them as much as you want. Uh, the world's spinning around me. I think I'm gonna be sick. How about we call it a night? I'll help with cleaning up. I think it'd be a good idea if you could see Greta home, sis. Yeah, I guess you're right. Are you alright, Greta? Yeah, sorry for causing you trouble. Blech. Thanks for coming, everyone. A few things I'd rather not remember did happen, but it was a great time overall. I'm sorry, I just couldn't resist. Can I leave Sis to you, Ignis? Now that I think about it, 
I might still be prowling around the area. I guess I have no choice then. I'm sorry, but let's take Greta home first. Ah, uh, she's nothing but trouble. <laughs> Chester, can I stay tonight? Will you help us clean up? Yes. Sorry for being a mess, Chester. Yeah, it's perfectly alright. You just made the party more fun. I wish I could have another party like this. Hey, further flowers are going to be in bloom season soon. How about we all go outside and have a picnic then? That sounds like fun. Do you have curler flowers on the mainland? I'm not sure. I've never heard of them, at least. They should be in bloom in a month or so. They are pretty striking, so better look forward to it. Yeah, we're not planning for that. You got no one's no one's planning. Yeah, I shall do so. Ha ha! I'm gonna drink less next time. Chester, I open the window, but I still can't get the scent of alcohol out. Maybe we should use some herbal water to neutralize the smell. Anyway, we should be on our way. Thank you very much, Chester. Thanks. Yeah, be careful on your way. Hmm? Something wrong? Get out of the way. Huh? Huh? Ch Chester? Chester? Yeah, I was surprised we lasted this long. My vision disoriented. I can no longer make out faces of anyone around me. Not even those of whom I was hiding my condition could tell what was going on. Let me open my eyes next. I bet their pained expressions will be the first thing that will come into my view. Everyone on the verge of tears, trying to suppress their pain. Because they are too kind for their own good. In constant fear of impending end. Chess. Chester. Well, that was fast. Who told you? Is it really true? You've got Enigma. That's what the doctor told me. Apparently the speed of infection completely depends on the person. No one could tell me anything. Why? That's just the kind of thing Enigma is, and you know that for yourself. I mean, both my parents passed away from it, too. You're strangling me, Elle. Chess. I'm sorry, Elle. You were on my side ever since my father died. But it seems like I'm gonna be the one to ultimately leave you behind. Stop it. Thanks for staying with me for all this time. You are my... Stop it. Elle. How could this happen? Why do you have to be killed by some inexplicable crap like that? It's too late, Elle. I... I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not. I swear. I'm gonna find the cure. I swear I'm gonna do it. And then it's gonna be alright. All's gonna be back to how it... Don't cry, Elle. I swear. I'll save you. I'm not gonna leave you all alone. So we left instead. I thought it was just like him. Always the optimist and unable to give up regardless of the odds. I almost believe you could really find it. For you were a man closest to how I imagined a hero. I even thought I could support you in your quest. So, well, in that time, to me you were... Elle. Passed away? You, by passing away ahead of me, proved there were no heroes in this world. Oh, where is this? Where is this? I have no way of even finding out when you got infected by Enigma yourself. But I re I'll resent you. Just for one thing, for never telling me. Ah. Uh. Yo, Chester, how, how does it feel to be unemployed? Is that how you greet an old acquaintance? That's right, Garia. How do you feel, Captain? Judging from your day's face, you must have been asleep. Sorry for bothering you at a time like this. We were so worried. We can only stuff ourselves with three meals a day. The door's over there. Hey, we all took a vacation, just so we could see your troubled face. You know what that means? A sleepover. 
Is that how you treat a former superior? What's with the manners of this establishment anyway? I don't remember being a you can seriously. <laughs> Anyway, I believe that's what we shall do in a moment. See you tomorrow. Eh? You're actually planning to come tomorrow, too? I said we were on vacation, didn't I? Anyway, it's not like we got anything better to do. Yeah, nothing beats hanging out with you. So better take responsibility. That's crazy. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Later, Chester. See ya. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I could tell they were only putting on optimistic faces. But it's true that their laid-back attitude provided me this respite. They always just joked around and laughed in front of me. I didn't even notice. After Elle's death, I thought it was all over, that I only needed to wait for the end of my time. Every morning, they mourned fairly stopped in front of the gates of my house, wearing pained expressions on their faces. And after taking a deep breath, they'd knock. I would always show relief smiles as they heard my voice as I opened the entrance. They'd be glad to still see me alive. It was as though their smiles thanked the fate for presenting me with another day. It continued for many days, on and on. All I did was fill their lives with misery and the terror of mortality. And as such, I thought I should get away, so they would no longer have to be tormented by my wretched existence. However, to tell the truth, It was, in the end, me who was terrified and miserable. I couldn't bear it anymore. Both the kindness of my former comrades and the possibility of losing someone else ahead of me. And so I ran. Not to liberate them from pain, but because I was simply unable to bear my own cross. So I didn't need to see anything. So I could act as if nothing was wrong. I lied to reality, masking the truth under a smile. Was I always running because I wished to save as many lives as possible? No. Not at all. I was just scared. I was just too scared of pain. Even the dawn that I couldn't wait to come sooner. Shimmed it. And with such a bright light, I could do nothing but look away. Dad, heroes are really strong, aren't they? They'd fight death on a daily basis with just as brave comrades at their backs. Ah, but if you thought about it that way... Oh, you were a hero after all. You might have saved the world, but you stayed by my side at the very end. By the side of such a weak, cowardly wretch. Chester. Greta, you alright? Yeah. I made Laura and the others go home. I'm the only one here. Lena said they wanted to go look something up, so... I made Inverio see Colette and Laura home. Ooh. They trust, maybe. I thought she refused, but she just said she'd do anything to make you happy. I'm sorry, but I had to tell those two about you. I couldn't keep it all under the rug any longer. I see. I'm sorry. I can't believe myself. I came here ready for your resentment, yet all I did was drink and mess up your place. Not to mention, I even forgot there was no next month for you. It was fun today. I can barely believe how fun it was. I even agreed to another promise without thinking too deeply about it. I'm not going to resent you for anything. I've got no reason to. You do. Why is that? Greta? That's... Remember this? It's the mark of the Tarigas. Wait. Are you the bride of Enigma? Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to marry Enigma once it receives all its color. This mark only appears on the Chosen One. Well, chosen by Enigma, I mean. And that's what the doll told me, at least. I thought the time my body stopped so I could survive until Enigma was ready. But apparently, that wasn't it. Tarikas were massacred by a group of outsiders long ago. I was supposed to be killed as well, but Enigma saved me. It made all those that tried to attack me rot in the blink of an eye. And you know, in that moment, I wished for something. I wished for everyone in the world to die. That was... That what was happening couldn't be real. 
I wished for time to return and stop in peaceful days, I remembered. The peaceful days had offered no adventures, no people from outside. The days where all my life were about praying together with mother and father. This wasn't what I wished exactly, but I guess Enigma couldn't understand. And so, I was made to be a child forever. The peaceful days. <laughs> Ignis is right on all accounts. You can never underestimate ignorance. Although, I was given many a chance to learn, yet I never did. I guess that's sheer foolishness than mere ignorance. I'm just a fool. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Greta. Chester? I forgive you. Eh? I forgive you. I imagine there are countless people who would hate you, Punk. To the verge of murder. Especially those forced to live under the fate of incessantly cooking death. I cannot deny their right to anger. Even if I know it's not precisely their fault, the hearts of humans are not so simple as to forget on the basis of such reasoning alone. But I, you see, am a pretty simple man. And as such, I forgive you, Greta. So, in exchange, would you grant me one wish? Your wish? Yeah. So I can dream again.